President Trump offered his condolences to the people of Sri Lanka. The president spent the Easter weekend in Florida, where it was nice and sunny. But the Democrats are talking up storm clouds of impeachment. Here's Weijia Jang. President Trump started his Easter Sunday at a Florida church with his family. Happy Easter, everybody. Have a good day. A lot of great things happening for our country. And in a chipper tweet, the president wrote, I have never been happier or more content. But clearly, the president is not happy about the Mueller report. He blasted it as a hit job and asked, can you believe that I had to go through the worst and most corrupt political witch hunt in the history of the United States? No collusion. Can we testify before Congress, sir? No, no comment. At his own Easter service back in Washington, special counsel Robert Mueller remained silent. The president's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, says his client is angry at Mueller. Why wouldn't you be angry at someone who tried to frame you for a crime and accused you of treason when it is absolutely untrue? He said even if the president had fired Mueller, it would not have been obstruction of justice. At that time, he had several good reasons to fire Mueller. Mueller had substantial conflicts of interest. Congressional Democrats are taking a close look at the 10 times the president may have obstructed justice, as Mueller outlined. They've issued a subpoena for a full, unredacted copy of the report and asked Mueller to come testify. Tomorrow, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi will hold a call with House Democrats, some of whom are vocally pushing to launch the impeachment process, while others are more hesitant. That's going to be a very consequential decision and one that I'm going to reserve judgment on uh, until we have a, a chance to fully deliberate about it. Republican Senator Mike Lee, a member of the Judiciary Committee, said on Face the Nation it would be a mistake for Democrats to go down the impeachment road. He said nothing in the report changes his view of President Trump. And, David, he believes most Americans would say the same. All right, Ouija, thank you very much.